Okay, I thought I'd do another video. Um, I'm getting some people asking me exactly what I did to, to fix my issues. And uh, there's really a whole bunch of things. So, basically there's something called heat creep where when your, your hot end here um, gets hot, right, that heat gets converted into the, the neck here and then eventually it goes up into this this aluminum heat spreader. Well, this when I got my printer, this uh, the hot end was barely screwed into this aluminum block, and I just assumed that that was how it was supposed to be. But when you think about it, what you really want is you want all of the heat to be contained in in this hot end and in your nozzle, and basically no heat. Uh, heating your filament. You want your filament as cool as possible coming into here. So what I ended up doing is I put another nut on here to increase the surface area for heat dissipation and then I screwed the that neck in as far into this heat block, heat spreader as I could. And the other thing that's important is always run this fan at 100% because uh, what will happen is the heat will travel up into this aluminum block and then some of the heat will travel into this heat sink but this heat sink really isn't effective. The, the uh, uh, you know, the, the theta J C uh, the thermal resistance is, is really not that great uh, to convert that heat from this aluminum block into this heat sink and then the fan. So um, that was that was part one of my problem. Um, part two is that I ended up really cranking my um, uh, stepper driver current up. Uh, thinking that that was part of my problem, that when this heat creep occurs, it basically melts the the filament up into the neck, and then it, it, the extruder can't physically push it in. So once I had that fixed, I then cranked the the drive current down on the board back to that 0.55 volts. I think it's sitting at 0.57. Uh, the next thing I did is I switched filament. Um, I, I had bought a spool with the Riprap Guru uh, guys when I bought the printer, but something's wrong with their filament. Um, so I ended up buying a, uh, a good picture of it, uh, a Hatchbox filament on uh, on Amazon. This is what some of my coworkers use. Uh, and this stuff is really good. Um, I've not had any issues with uh, with this, and it's printed some, some really good things. I've uh, printed kind of a test block here, which was a, a tall cylinder. Um, uh, to really test to see if my vertical axis was aligned and uh, and I you know I think that's it looks pretty good uh, it looks like that's pretty much a 90 degree angle uh, some other things I did um, was uh, my y-axis here was not parallel I actually broke one of my um, uh, this y-axis bearing holder um, so you really want to make sure this is exactly parallel. It should be 170 millimeters, um, and you want to make sure both ends are, are the same. So um, that's another thing to check. Another thing that I noticed is that my prints weren't exactly coming up vertical. Um, and so once again, when you're when you're building this thing, um, you want to be very careful to make sure that that this thing is is truly straight up and down. Um, and I don't really have a good way of doing that other than um, it just didn't look like it was printing straight up and down so I, I kind of moved these things um, loosened these up and, and moved them and then I kept printing vertical structures uh, until I got one that was really square so that was another thing I did uh, another thing of course is is bed leveling um, and I've pretty much switched exclusively to the the Kira engine uh, slicer one thing you know about the Cura engine is, is when it zeroes, it pushes into the bed, uh, you know, and you can actually see the bed displace. But then when it goes to print the first layer, it seems to stay off of it. Uh, it looks like it's 0 .3, uh, 0 .30 of an inch. And so what I noticed is that I, I kind of have to drive it into the board a little bit more when I home it, and that helps with the, the board ad adhesion. Um, and that's, that's about it. It's those tricks and now I'm getting pretty good consistent prints.